Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kiss Up Silks, Level One, Class One. Let's start class with a five-minute warm-up in move time. Run in place, lifting the knees as high as possible each time. Ready? Begin. <laughs> Fantastic! Halfway there! Sit down and place the elbows on the floor. Point the toes and engage the legs to keep them straight as you lift them both up as high as possible and tap the heels to the floor. Begin! Nice work! Halfway there! From standing, alternate lifting each leg as high as possible and tapping the heel to the ground. Ready? Begin! <laughs> Lay on your belly and bring the arms up in front of you. Lift all four limbs up toward the ceiling and hold. Ready? Begin! <laughs> Halfway. Almost there. Lay down and place the feet flat on the floor. Rest the fingers behind the ears but do not pull on the neck. Curl the chest in just until the shoulders lift off the floor, then lay back down. Begin! <laughs> Halfway there. You've got this. Extend one leg back behind you as you fold over the front leg. Then bring the back leg up and tuck the knee into the chest as you hop. Then extend it back out behind you. Begin! <laughs> Fantastic! Halfway! Shift the hips back and squat down to the floor to lay down and bring the arms up overhead. Without using the hands to assist you, bend the knees in, bring the feet flat to the floor to squat, and stand again. Halfway. Halfway. 
From crab position, lift the hips to the ceiling and bend and extend the elbows. For an additional challenge, lift one leg off the floor. Begin! Halfway there. Great job! Now that we're warmed up, let's do a five minute stretch. All right, we're gonna start with our head rolls and we're gonna do it for a very slow eight count, beginning with me in five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna roll our shoulders forward. And backward. One more time. And other way. This one's the juggler's warm up. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna show you from the front and the back. I'm gonna start with my one hand outside. It's gonna draw down across my face, behind my head, and up. Down, across, behind, and up. Down, across, behind, and up. Down, across, behind, and up. This is good for our rotator cuff. Other direction, down, across, behind, and up. 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 We're gonna go this direction, and we're gonna try to alternate, so right and left. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and down, across, behind, and up. 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 Last time, across, behind, and up. Down, across, behind, and up. Now we're gonna expand and contract. We're gonna close our bodies in, hold two, three, four, and expand. Two, three, four, again. Two, three, four, expand. Two, three, four, last time. Two, three, four, expand. Two, three, four. Next, we're gonna start rolling our ribs. So I'm gonna put my hands on my hips and I'm gonna isolate my rib cage. We're gonna go in a slow circle one direction, slow circle the other. Then we're gonna isolate our, our uh, circle into four corners. So we're gonna go right, across, back, back, up, up, back, back. We're gonna do the same thing after that with our hips, slow circles, other direction, and then we're gonna hit each spot. All right, five, six, seven, Eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna walk our legs out, turn to the one side, and we're gonna start in a triangle pose. We're gonna try to really drive our heel down in the back. We're gonna lift our chest up. Let's make sure that our hips stay square, that we're not rotated out. 
and chest up. We're going to slide into a lunge. We're really driving that heel in the back. We can put our hands on our hips. I'm engaging this glute and really maintaining this leg straight by driving that heel back. And back into our triangle pose. And back into our lunge. Last time. And lunge. And switch. And triangle. And lunge. And triangle. Last time. Straighten up, down to the center, forward fold. Walk those feet in, hold again. On the exhale, roll up slowly. Nicely done. It's strength time. Follow these moves and be sure to challenge yourself. We will give you a chance to pause the video and choose your number of repetitions so you can go at your own pace. Starting with the stronger leg, hold the silk with the same side hand high, wrap the leg from the outside in, keeping the knee high and the foot flexed to keep the silk from falling off. Bring the second hand up to meet the first and slowly bend your knees to shift the weight into your hands, allowing your body to sink. Lift the free foot, push into the silk as you straighten your legs, holding your body weight up with your hands. Reach your hands high again to grip. Slowly bend your knees to shift the weight into your hands, allowing your body to sink. Release the top foot and swivel your wrapped foot as you bend your knee up to tighten the slack on the silk. Repeat. To come down, let the silk slide between the feet slowly to avoid a burn as you go hand below hand. Now it's your turn. From the ground, reach up high and double crochet from the outside in. Slowly bend your knees to shift the weight into your hands, allowing your body to sink and your ears to touch your shoulders. Make sure the shoulders remain engaged by always turning the thumbs toward one another. Lift your heels toward your back. Slowly pull your shoulders away from your ears and back again. For heart shrugs, lift the chest toward the ceiling, making sure the knees remain pointing toward the floor and we're not bending at the waist. Now it's your turn. Starting on our knees, reach up high and crochet twice from the outside in. Bring the legs out straight in front of you and lift the hips into a plank position. Bend the elbows, bringing the chest between the hands, careful not to bend at the waist. Slowly extend the elbows to the starting position and repeat. Now it's your turn. From the ground, reach up high and hold without crocheting. Slowly bend your knees to shift the weight into your hands, allowing your body to sink and your ears to be gently pulled away from your shoulders. Lift the heels toward your back and hold for an eight count. Now it's your turn. It's fly time, where we will focus on aerial tricks. <laughs> crochet one arm one time, grab the loose end about an arm's length down and pass it to your crocheted hand 
Lift the silk resting on your arm to make a little window on the outside of the tight end. Keep it lifted as you pull the other hand through and down, releasing when you have about an arm's length of loop pulled through. To remove a knot, grab the two loose ends and pull them out laterally and not toward the floor. Now it's your turn. Open the silk and put it on like a backpack with the knot below the shoulder blades. Hold at chest height and pull up as you lean back with legs apart to a straddle. For frog, bring the feet together in front of the fabric with knees pointing out to the sides. For stag, slide one leg over to cover both sides of the fabric and let the other leg extend out behind you. To come out, go back to the frog position, grab the silk between the legs, straddle, pull up, and tilt out. Now it's your turn. From a chest high knot, split the fabric and put it on like a backpack, making sure the knot is below the shoulder blades. Bring the legs out in front of you and passe one leg. Pressing the ball of the foot into the floor and keeping the knee straight, pirouette around the point on the floor, piking as the leg is in front and arching when it's in back. As you spin around the point, you will roll over to the top of the foot and back to the ball of the foot. Once you've gathered enough momentum, lift the foot off the floor and press the fabric away from you to invert into a straddle back. Now it's your turn. From a low knot, bring one leg through to the back of the knee, reach the hands high, and lean back to bring the next leg through to the knee. One at a time, place the feet on the knot at the heel, and pull in until the hips stack over the ankles, reach high again, and stand up slowly. Reach up high, pike the hips back, and bend one knee to hip height, sliding the outside edge of the foot up the silk and pushing out, then sliding the second foot out. Continue pushing out, not down, to maintain the base and pull up to standing. To come out, slide the feet slowly down the silk to avoid a burn. Sit down and step out. Now it's your turn. Great job, everyone. It's time to come together and close the class with circle time. Thank you for joining us in today's class. For circle time, I'd like you to sit down with legs crossed, Shoulders relaxed, and feel free to close your eyes as you listen along. Today's life skill is patience. 
There's a term, instant gratification, that refers to our desire to want to reap the benefits of something immediately. Its opposite is delayed gratification, referring to the ability to be patient with reaping the benefits because it will be beneficial later. If we apply this to our aerial practice, we might learn how to do a move, and once we learn it, we might be ready to learn something new. Continually learning new moves might be instantly gratifying, even if we're not very good at them. But if we spend time with each move, practicing them over and over and learning it inside and out, knowing it like the back of our hand, it becomes captivating and looks effortless when an audience sees it. The practice of patience yields the maximum benefits. Let's close today's class with three deep cleansing dragon breaths. On the inhale, let's think of all the ways that we succeeded. And on the exhale, let's let go of all of our frustrations so we can be ready to do it again next time. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Again. Last one. Thank yourselves for coming to class.